So folks, I would like to officially welcome you as we come together to honor Jose Sr. It's my pleasure at this time to introduce Esther Kelly Vasquez from the Rosenheim United Methodist Church, who will lead us in the this afternoon ceremony. Esther Kelly. Jesus dijo, yo soy la resurrección y la vida. Aquellos que creen en mí, aunque morran, vivirán. Y el que viva y crea en mí nunca morirá. Soy alfa y omega, el principio y el fin. El primero y el último. Morí y aquí estoy vivo para siempre. Y tengo las llaves del infierno de la muerte. Porque yo vivo, vivarás también. Friends, we have gathered here to praise God and to witness to our faith as we celebrate the life of Jose Barrera Sr. We come together in grief, acknowledging our human loss. May God grant us grace that in peace we may find comfort, in sorrow, hope, in death, resurrection. Let us pray. God of us all, we thank you for Christ's grace through which we pray to you in this dark hour. A life we love has been torn from us. Expectations the years once held have vanquished. The mystery of death has stricken us. Oh God, you know the lives we live and the deaths we die. Woven so strangely of purpose and of chance, of reason and of the irrational, of strength and of frailty, of happiness and of pain. Into your hands we commend the soul of Jose. No mortal life you have made is without eternal meaning. No earthly fate is beyond your redeeming. Through your grace that can do far more than we can think or imagine, fulfill in Jose your purpose that reaches beyond time and death. Lead him from strength to strength and fit him for your love and service in your kingdom. Into your hands we also commit our lives. You alone, God, make us to dwell in safety. Whom finally we have on earth or in heaven but you. Help us to know the measure of our days and how frail we are. Hold us in your keeping. Forgive us our sins. Save our minds from despair and our hearts from fear. And guard and guide us with your peace. Amen. Amen. Hear these words from the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sleep. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Jesus said, do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house, there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. I will not leave you orphaned. I am coming to you. 
In a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me. Because I live, you also will live. I have said these things to you while I am still with you, but the advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not let them be afraid. Today we are here to honor the life of Jose Guerrero Sr. Jose was born on March 9th, 1958 in Puerto Rico. He was the loving father to Anna, Betsy, Nilda, Denisha, Natasha, Jose Jr., and Joshua. He was blessed with 28 grandchildren and eight great-grandchildren. He was also loved by two sisters, Sandra and Irma, and four brothers, Jimmy, Eduardo, Carlos, and Luis, as well as several nieces and nephews. As we gather this afternoon grieving over the loss of our loved one, we must remember that grief is a natural part of life. There are many things that you're going to miss about Jose. Those times when he would take his son and grandchildren fishing in Fortescue. The delicious food he would cook for his family and friends. The time spent cheering on the eagles. I can only imagine what kind of day it was when they won the Super Bowl. One thing is for sure, Jose touched each and every one of you in a special way. The loss of a loved one is a time of mixed emotions. We are saddened by this loss. We know that Jose is no longer in pain, but we need to recall the wonderful memories that we have of his life. We reflect on how he touched each of your lives. These are the things that cause us to celebrate the life of a loved one. Celebrating Jose's life is a wonderful tribute to how he touched you. However, we grieve because we won't be able to visit with him anymore. The tears we shed and the pain we feel are all part of the grieving process. But we're not the only ones that have felt lost. Jesus himself grappled with grief. In chapter 11 of the book of John, we read a story about the death of a close friend of his. His name was Lazarus. Now, Jesus didn't make it back to see him in time. By the time Jesus arrived, he had already passed. Jesus wept. That's right. Jesus, the Son of God, wept for his friend. Jesus felt some of the same feelings you are facing today. He knows what you are going through. If the loss of a friend can cause Jesus to shed tears, then we need to know that it is okay for us to grieve. Tears are a part of the grieving process. Friends and family gathered around Lazarus' sisters to comfort and support them. They were there for them in their time of grief. That isn't the end of the story for Lazarus. And our death isn't the end of the story for us. God sent Jesus to this earth to save each and every one of us. John chapter 11 also tells us that Jesus is the resurrection and the life. All who believe in him will live even though they die. We are all sinners, but the death of Jesus paid the price for our sins. Through his resurrection, we are free. 
Jesus tells us later in the book of John that he goes to prepare a place for us in heaven with his father. All that Jesus, all that came to Jesus and repent of their sins will find a place in heaven. Jose's death is a reminder of the love that Jesus has for each one of us. It is a reminder that Jesus died for each of us so that earthly death is no longer the end. Jesus came to the earth to save each of us. Just as in the story of Lazarus, we need to stand together and to comfort one another. As we grieve for our loss, we need to band together and support one another. Cry with one another. Hug one another. Lean on one another during this time of grief. Then remind each other of the promise that Jesus has given you. That he has prepared a place for you in heaven. That the love of God is a gift from God that cannot be taken away. In this season of grief, turn to God for his unending love and support. Lean on God to help you navigate your way through your grief. God will always be there for you. All you need to do is ask him to help. Ask him to give you peace and comfort. Spend some time in prayer with God to allow his love to wash over you. And as you feel his love wrap around you, I want you to think of your fond memories of Jose. Remember the good times and rejoice in the unique ways he touched your life. Thank God for bringing him into your life and for the person he has helped you become. Shall we pray? God of us all, your love never ends. When all else fails, you still are God. We pray to you for one another in our need and for all anywhere who mourn with us this day. To those in doubt, give light. To those who are weak, give strength. To all who have sinned, show mercy. To all who sorrow, of peace. Keep true in us the love with which we hold one another. In all our ways we trust you. And to you, with your church on earth and in heaven, we offer honor and glory now and forever. Amen. Amen. Oh God, all that you have given to us is yours. As first you gave Jose to us, now we give him back to you. Receive Jose in your arms of mercy. Raise Jose up with all your people. Raise us also. And raise us into a new life. Help us so to love and serve you in this world that we may enter into your joy in the world to come. Into your hands, O merciful Savior, we commend your servant, Jose Ferrer Sr. Acknowledge, we humbly beseech you, a sheep of your own fold, a lamb of your own flock, a sinner of your own redeeming. Receive Jose into the arms of your mercy, into the blessed rest of everlasting peace, and into the glorious company of the saints of light. Amen. Amen. And now will you join with me in the Lord's Prayer? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.
And now will you receive the benediction. The peace of God, which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Kelly. And folks, at this time, we would like to invite you as your excuse to come forward, follow the exit stickers as you leave through the side door after you've come forward to pay your final respects. We would ask that you kindly do that and go to your vehicle so that we might begin our procession to Fernwood Memorial Park in Hopewell Township where the <coughs> final services and interment will take place. Just one final additional note, the folks that have agreed to help by serving as pallbearers, when we arrive at the cemetery, if you will come right up to the rear of the hearse to assist us there to the graveside. Uh, in the past, we have used the help of the pallbearers here at the funeral home. And again, keeping with social distancing guidelines, all bears will only help us today at the cemetery. So I thank you again for all your cooperation. I thank the Eagles fans. I appreciate again, Pastor Kelly, for your kind words about the day. God bless all of you folks, and thanks for coming.